Let's solve this question on insurance in this video. We're gonna do question 11 now, 12 and 13 in the next video. So we have a utility which is m to the power of 3. m is our income. Now we have the following lottery. With probability 1 over 5 we could get 5 euros. With probability 1 over 5 we could get 10 euros. With probability 3 over 5 we could get 0 euros. Now which of the following is true? So let's solve the first one. It's about his risk preference. Now risk preference has to do with the relationship between utility and money. How do we see a relationship between two variables? By looking at the derivatives. Meaning that if we differentiate the utility function with respect to money, we can see how the utility changes with money. So let's do it. m to the power of 3 derivative with respect to money is equal to 3m squared. Now what is 3m squared? 3 is a positive number m squared is also a positive number because any number to the power of 2 is positive. So we can see that the first derivative is positive, meaning that our utility increases with money. So utility increases with money. That makes sense. The more money, the happier we are. But now to understand risk preference, we have to see what are we willing to do for that money. Meaning, does our utility increase more and more with money or does it increase at a diminishing rate? And Remember, when we speak about how the function changes at an increasing rate or at a decreasing rate, we're speaking about the second derivative. So let's do that and we're going to show it on the graph what we mean. The utility, second derivative with respect to m. That's going to be what we found here, the first order derivative. Differentiate it one more time with respect to m. So that's going to be 3 times m squared derivative is just 2m. And that's equal to 6m. Was it 6m? Well, 6 is a positive number and assuming that we have a level of money or assuming that we get more and more money multiplied it by 6 is going to give a positive value. So our second order derivative is also positive, meaning that the utility is increasing even more when money goes up. So we are not increasing at a decreasing rate, but we are increasing at an increasing rate. And if we show it graphically, that would mean that we would have a convex shape. So that would mean that our utility function is increasing at an increasing rate, which speaks of risk-seeking behavior. What does it mean a risk-seeking behavior? It means that we're willing to take gambles, to take risks, to acquire more money because our utility increases even more than that. So we're willing to take those risks. Risk-seeking. So we are risk-seeking. We are not risk-averse. This is false. Now, before finishing the video, Let's just understand what would be a risk averse person. So a risk averse person also likes money, we all do, but then we are not willing to take that much risk to get it. We have a point where we have enough. We have a point of diminishing returns. Our graph is concave. So our function, utility depending on money, is gonna be concave. There's a point at which we're willing to work for it, we're willing to risk for it, but then when we get enough of it, somewhere over here, we're starting to become more uh, calm. We're not willing to take much risk because the risk that we're going to take to take more money is not worth it. The marginal effect, the marginal benefit over here, incrementally we, not, we don't give that much money. So we kind of plateau and it's no, it's no point for us to take additional risks. So this is a risk averse behavior. Hope this makes sense. This is more of an intuitive question to, to understand what's happening and the math with the derivatives shows the relationship between utility and money so that we can prove that indeed we are risk seeking. In the next video we'll finish the question.